Alright, what's up guys? Uh, today we're going to play some Magic the Gathering Arena. Um, I'm thinking we're actually going to play some um, Quick Draft Ikoria. It's got 44 hours left. I've been enjoying it. And um, I like to do the Quick Draft because it's uh, everybody's kind of on the same page. You know, I don't have access to all these awesome cards other people do. So, you know, if we do the draft, then who knows? We can get something great. We're all kind of on an even page. All uh, right, so what we got here? So we got Lava Brink Advent uh, Adventurer. In this battlefield, choose odd or even. Has protection from each converted mana cost of the chosen. Oh, wow. That's actually pretty nice. Okay, weaponize monsters. Parcel Beast. I really, really like Parcel Beast. So, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and take that just just in case so no one else gets it. Okay, escape protocol, void beckoner, dire tactics. Ooh, dire tactics is a nice one. I could go could go white black. Could do Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and take that just to see. Let's see what we're going to build. Avian Oddity, Neutralize, Dusk Fang Mentor, into Battlefield, throw a life counter, on target non creature you control. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, alright. We're getting a lot of black, um, a lot of blue, <clears throat> a little bit of white. So, may switch it up and go with some blue. Blue green is my normal go to. That's a lot to cycle. Let's just let's go ahead and take that just as an early play and potential for mutate. Because what I feel crazy when I uh Cavern Whisper. Ooh, I love I really like the Cavern Whisper. Okay. Getting um getting a lot of blue choices. Black. We may just end up switching up and going blue here. Banish Divine Arrow. Keep safe, convolute, dark bargain, blitz leech. Turn good negative two negative two until turn. Remove all counters from that creature. Ooh, that's that's a nice one. Top three cards you like boots in your hand and then they're gonna still damage to you. Greater sandworm. Divine arrow. Exile turn creature power four or greater. Uh, but I need yeah, I need some draft power, so Hmm. We may just end up going like blue black. I like unexpected fangs for the permanent 1 1 counter and lifelink. Phase off is good because uh, if you attack with it, another creature can be blocked. Anticipate's also a good one. Yeah, we need some draw power. Ooh, I like that. Okay, so if I go with... If we go blue-black, even though it's red, I can pay black for the cost. 
but Polywog Symbiote definitely works with the Mutate deck. Hmm. Decisions. Alright, I'm going to take that just simply to work with the potential menace. I like startling development because it could be used either way for you or them. Um, I actually think I might take it just so I could have a 4-4 a four, four serpent, serpent really good. Really early, that'd be good. Okay, so... Keep safe, Adventures Impulse. I see. I like I like running green in my decks because it gives me some more land uh, potential. But I think keep it safe was a good idea there. Draw a card, then discard a card. Maybe recycle and they pay one when you do exile target card. Regular control, then return it. Okay, so it's a bounce for myself. Actually, I like that. It's a bounce for myself. So we got a four cost, flash, one six, basically just kind of be used as a quick defender. Or we could take the two cost, instant, plus two, plus zero, and indestructible in a turn. I kind of like that more. You're just going to go get a little turn. Cycling two. See, we're still not... We could run a blue, white, black. Potential. We need more low costers. Instance. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that just works too well with us. Even though Convolute is a really good one. But being able to uh, use black or blue mana and gain a life, I like that option more. Uh, that's easy. Unexpected things. Hey, then we got the uh, Crustacean. Okay. Extinction event. Choose otter even. Exile each creature with converted mana cost of the chosen value. Zero is even. Hmm. That could be nasty. But will it get to the point where it will be viable? We'll take it, just to see, even if we keep someone else from getting it. Okay. I like this one. I like that. I like that one kind of more, but this is 7-7 seven, seven with um, tap and creatures don't untap. Easy prey, destroy target creature with murder mana cost two or less. Wingfold Terran. It's good because it could get, it could either be a flyer or a hexproof, and it's a three six. We're we are severely lacking in low costers though. Do one one. This this card right here of one mind is so busted, and I love it. Um, but we do need 
cheaper cards. So let's go ahead and take the serrated scorpion. Black, green, or blue. Oh, and there's a menace. Hmm. Do you go for the mana ramp, or do I go for the combo? I like... I like to play the ramp, so let's do that. Okay. Alright, and fight is one. Blitz Leech, Dark Bargain, Gloom, Pangolin. I'm not running green right now, so even though I normally would look at these, green is a really good option. I don't. I'm not running at this draft, so. For a three cost, one five. Oh, look at the top three cards of your library, put two in your hand, and then... Mm. I kind of need that quick defender potential. Oh, Titan Rex. That's going to be nasty if I come across that. Alright, um... We could take another uh, Serrated Scorpion here. Uh, just for another single coster. Uh, Bushmeat Poacher is another good one because let's say I sacrifice the Serrated Scorpion, then it's going to take the duel of two damage to the player, and then I gain two life, and then I gain life uh, equal to its toughness, so I would have gained four from that, and I get to draw a card. That's, that's a nice combo. But then you have a two cost white with one for Vigilance. A very cheap blocker. I think I'm going to take that just for potential wombo combo. Mill three cards and you return a creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Another one coster. I think in this scenario we take the one cost. Black, green, or blue. Other humans you control get plus one until end of turn. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna take that just for the potential ramp. Anticipate to ooh, no. Another cheap coster. Sleeper card is good because I get to draw a card and then tap a mm. Yeah. Okay, so. Enters play, gain a life, black or red. So, it looks like we're running a blue black. Vegas turtle, that's that's the give me. I'm just gonna take potential for the land and a forest. All right, nice. Okay. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I love this card. See, that would be really great for our deck right now, but I love the potential from this card right here. Yeah, we're going to do it. Just for the off chance we get to ramp it up. Blood Curdled, for target creature, but a minus counter on the creature you control. That is, that's a nice combo. Uh, we could do the Night Squad Commando. And it's about a field. Uh, if you attack, it gets, creates a 1 1 creature uh, human token. So it gets more creatures on the field, possibly to sack. Uh, Aegis Turtle is an, another really good, you know, just one cost, 0 5. Could go for more of one mine for. Of one mine is just so good. 
Bastion of Remembrance. Uh, enters the battlefield, create a 1 1 human creature. Whenever creature controls, he can point to lose one life and one life. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, capture sphere. I think. I think we're going to take that just. Even just to get it out of somebody else's hands. And there's another one. So we could do this for the mutate, and whenever this mutate creature mutates, draw a card. So I can do that for the draw, and then I could put it on top of like a thieving otter or something, and then I could draw even more. Uh, we are we're a little too high mana cost heavy. He drew it on land. <laughs> All right, so we got glimmer bell, which is you could do a lot of combinations with that, flying and then untap it. Um, Frostfell ambush, potentially in there just for the cycle. But if I get Sharknado out and I'm able to cast that, then that's going to be a five-five flying shark. Ooh, decisions, decisions. You can say Frost Lynx, Crustacean. I've got a Crustacean. Um, basically, a tap, then don't untap. Keep it safe. Yeah. You want something to bring? Uh, sure. Thank you, man. Yeah, let's go with keep it safe simply for more uh, draw control. Whenever a creature controls the zone, come at damage player, draw a card. Ooh, okay. Ooh, another serrated scorpion. Should have taken straight to Scorpion because there's another reconnaissance mission. Reconnaissance mission. Okay. Uh, we could go with the plus two and indestructible in the turn, or give them negative two into in the turn. But this one has cycle, which gives more draw power. Thank you very much. Is there any more of those? What, these? Yeah. Oh, this is the last one. Okay. You want to trade? Uh. I mean, I'm. It's the last one from both. I, whichever one you want, I don't care. Alright. Draw power, indestructible. It's a tough one. I'm going to take that just simply for the potential draw power. We take the Dismal Backwater or we take the Mysterious Egg. We actually don't have that much, that much mutate. So let's take that. That zero five is it's gonna keep some people at bay. Potential flyer and hex proof. If we're able to ramp up like I'm hoping we're gonna be able to, it shouldn't be that big of an issue. Thieving otter. Another Aegis turtle. Fourth enemy. Oh, hey, I've got 
over four of one something. Okay. All right. So we've got Aegis Turtle, Scorpion, Mysterious Eggs, Hampering Snare, Keep It Safe, Startling Development, Unexpected Fangs, Unexpected Dire Tactics. Yeah, we're not going to be running white, most likely. Let's let's go ahead and get rid of that. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Thor the enemy. So we're going to hang on to this because we can use black for its converted mana cost and the fact that it's menace and his their version of menace is each creature you can creature you control with menace cannot be blocked except by three or more which normally menace is two or more so that three or more that could be that could be game changer uh, we probably don't need all the, both of the crustaceans Dreamtail Heron. Um, keep it in there for the potential mutate. Frostvale Ambush is good, but keeping it in there for the cycle, or if I do get the Shark Typhoon going. Dun, 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 dun. I know you really want to go down to like a 40 card deck. Can I get rid of seven cards? Mysterious thing. Alright, so what do we have that's mutate? We got the Dream Tell Heron. So we could essentially get rid of the mysterious eggs. Well, we'll keep one just for the potential, because it is a one cost uh, two defender. And then we could put the Dream Tail Heron on it. We actually don't have a lot with mutate. I mean, uh, with uh, menace this time. Ah, uh, I forgot about Akapila. So. Okay, so we're we're gonna go in with a few too many cards, but we'll see how this runs. All right, let's get this going. Give it a try. <laughs> so how are y'all doing today? Oh, already. All right, nice. GG Otter. All right. All right, so I got blue black. That means I can do the straight scorpion. Blue. Turn it into a 4 4. Okay, this is actually a pretty decent, decent start. Even though we've only got two land, we have, um, we have opening plays we can do here. That's that's gonna be nice. Alright. Go ahead and put that down. Game the life. Next time we're gonna do the serrated scorpion. Nice, we got another land. Alright. Could go ahead and cycle it, but no. 
not really in the need for right now. Look at these cards. Oh man, these old style arts, those are so nice. Uh, five finder, four finder is gonna let them go search for a land, put it in their hand, shuffle. I'll let, I'll, I'll let that happen, you know. No big deal. Okay, we got another black now, all right. We are going to go ahead and put Bastion of Remembrance into play. Alright. Let's see if he blocked. Nope. Okay. I'll take that free ping. Ooh, Shovel Vanna Monsters. That's a nice one. Death Touch. Being in the upkeep, you only have no permanents with bounty counters on and put a bounty counter target creature or planeswalker and opponent controls. Whenever a permanent or an opponent controls with a bounty counter on it dies, you gain three life and draw a card. That's really nice, actually. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put another island down. Let's go ahead and put the crustacean in. Nice defender there. you're gonna put the counter on all right dream tell heron nice all right so it's gonna be a three four flyer with vigilance now because of mutate that uh, flyers can uh, definitely pose a problem let's go ahead and put thieving otter out Attack, he's gonna block. Then he's gonna gain three life because it died. I'm gonna gain two life. He takes two damage. He takes one damage. I gain one life. That's actually not a bad trade off. Or he could just not do anything. Okay. For the lid and the Okay. Flyer is going to be a problem very quickly. Alright, so we got keep it case safe. Here's spell a card, I'm gonna go and draw a card, I'm gonna go and play the swamp. Alright, we're gonna We're gonna give him something. We're gonna see what he does here. He's still got three available mana. Okay, so he's blocking the Heron with the Scorpion, blocking the Otter. So we are going to give that to that. What are you going to do? Control deals damage to the power.
There we go. That was a nice answer. And then we've got an unexpected fangs in our hand to uh, make things nice and nasty. Back for more. Okay. Alright, I respect that. I respect that. So even if I attacked... Mysterious egg. And now we are top decking mana. Fantastic. Alright. What are you going to let through? Okay. This Bastion's Remembrance is doing some work. Oh no, now we got a Honey Mammoth, he gains four life. 6-6. Six, six. I control a human and a non-human. Which means that's only going to cost one. I get to draw two cards. And... Let's go ahead and cycle. Just to get some more. So even if they did negative, they wouldn't kill me. Gotta get something working here, okay. Alright, we gotta... Okay, 6-6. Six, six. If I block it with uh, the crustacean, then... He's gonna gain the 3 life and draw a card. I'm gonna block you with the soldier. I gain a life, you take a life. Alright. Alright, we're running into an issue here. Not getting anything we need. I may... Yeah, let's go ahead and cycle. I need to do something. God. Um, okay, God bless America. Fantastic. I don't... I'm not going to say it's impossible, but this is going to be... This is going to be interesting. Yep, yeah, I'm just top decking mana. Is yes. 
Yeah. Because even if I block the six damage, he's going to gain three life and draw a card. I mean, don't really have anything else I can do. Didn't get any of my draw power. Well, I get a little bit, but. And this is just match one. Yeah, the, it's it's game over. But it is what it is. I mean, I don't know how much tweaking I'm going to be able to do, really. Yeah, I'm way too mana flooded. Yeah, that's game. Go me! Alright, so we have taken a loss. But, we get to play until we lose three times. So, we could turn this around. But no matter what, no matter what, we are going to get a booster pack. <laughs> that would be Toby the dog. Alright, you can bluff. Have a, yeah. Just, just let you know, you're gonna die one day. Alright, so what are you guys' uh, favorite decks to run? Uh, any suggestions? Any uh, All ideas? Them. All of them? All of them. All of them, yeah. Well, they all have their perks in you their know own what you ways. Should do? What should I do? Waste. Nothing but a waste deck. Waste. Waste. Okay. Alright, so we got that with black and blue. Black, black, black. I actually have a decent opening hand. Hello. So what do you think of Trash Panda's hair? Uh, it's different. So now we got a blocker and an attacker. Oh, and now we're going to get the Wombo combo with the Butch Meat Poacher. Counter unless you pay for. Alright, I'm glad they wasted it on that and not the poster. I'm gonna go ahead and cycle and draw. Thank you. Alright, so he's running a blue white at the very least. Ooh. I like that. Foxburg. Mutate when this creature mutates, put a plus one counter on it. I like that art. That is a really nice art. <laughs> Toby. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and put Escape Protocol into play. You just uh, we're just gonna let it go. We're just gonna see what happens. Sometimes playing aggressive is a really good thing. Sometimes it's not. Uh, I've only got one defender right now. He's got a flyer. So let's see. And that's whenever it's mutated, really really, other creatures gonna be XX until end of turn where it's another time to be mutated. That's actually really nice.
That's wow. I like that art. Do I take the two damage or leave it for the potential cycling? I'm going to take the two damage. And we are going to answer his mutate with our own mutate. So we got to keep it safe in case he wants to target somebody. But we're going to use that bushmeat poacher probably to sack our serrated scorpion, which is going to do damage. We gain life, we gain more life, draw another card. Three, four on the ground. He probably wants me to block with my dream tail. He's got an answer. I'm going to... Because I'm going to get that life back here in a minute anyway. I'm okay. So what's in... What you going to do? What, what's in your hand? There we go. Okay, so... Non-combat will be dealt for a minute. Put one counter on each damage. Put it that way. Boom, boom, boom. Like he's probably got I don't think he's really running much of enchantments in this one he's just gonna swing with the three four he wants me to block he wants me to block with my dream tell hero all right so Wingfall Terran, he's gonna come into play. Was he gonna be hexproof or flying? He's gonna be hexproof, okay. So we are going to play him to have an on, another on the ground blocker. And then we are going to use his ability to sack the scorpion. Constance's mission is going to be, it's going to be interesting because I don't think I'm going to be able to do combat damage, really. All I'm doing right now is keeping him at bay. Two two until the turn, put a flying counter on it, so it's going to be a 5-7 flyer with hexproof. Ouch. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to do what he wants me to do, but he doesn't know that I've got that. Sack that to gain the five life, draw a card. Now we've got unlikely aid. All right, two, four. 
Okay, we're gonna go ahead and um, play reconnaissance mission. And the off chance that I get to deal combat damage. Good game. What is he conceding? Because all I'm really doing is holding them off. I wouldn't say I'm conceding. Okay. We got another keep it safe. Hmm. I wonder if he's just conceded. Is he gonna block? Okay. All right, now we're getting that ramp going. <clears throat> it's gonna mutate. He's gonna get uh, two plus one counters on it now. Take the seven to the face. Okay, we can still do this. We can still come from behind here. Not if we're just drawing lands. We're not. need to draw something. I wish you would target one of my creatures with a spell so I could play keep it safe. Okay, we don't... We're gonna go ahead and do that for the cycling. Don't really need to bounce anything right now. We're gonna play Sleeper's Dart. And then I could tap Sleeper's Dart. Target creature doesn't untap to his control his next untap. Okay. We're gonna let it go. He could still very well in control the whatever could you do with the draw part. See, yeah, he could very still pull this through. Cause now he's gonna get to do combat damage to me and draw a card. So Sleeper Dart, I misplayed. I thought it tapped it as well. Not just as it doesn't untap. Hello, because Glider. Okay, he's going to come in as a flyer. Yep. Oh 
I'm going to sack the 1-1. One, one. That's actually gonna that's gonna be coming handy. If I can combo it with the bushmeat poacher. This spell costs two cast to return on it. Target on my permanent door control to its always hand. I'm gonna keep it safe. Thank you. And I drew another keep it safe. Alright. Target me again, please. Take that so it gets to draw a card. No, thank you. take I'll have two available for another keep it safe Good game. Man, that was a come from behind. Oh my goodness. That was awesome. <laughs> I liked that wombo combo. Once we got that, um, I guess we got the Okami Ranger. Okay, nice. Um,. Once we got that uh, sack creature, gained his health back and all that, that was that was where we turned it around. Uh, if we were unable to get that in into the game, into, into play, we would have lost. Alright, so we got... Bah, 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 bah. We have... Some early play. Let's just see what we can do. Alright, they're running red. Okay, it's probably going to be... See, so running red is probably going to be running the dinosaurs with haste. Oh, he's blue-black. He is blue-black. Okay, probably a lot of instances in sorceries, yes, a lot, a lot of instances in sorceries. Is he going to attack? Probably with his haste. Nope, okay. He just got him out on the field, just had him out on the field. We need some lands. We don't need to get swamped like we did last time, but we definitely need some lands. Thieving Otter. I know that card well. Okay. Here we go.
Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. Got that big guy there. We got that wombo combo. The problem is we have no lands. We're getting we're dry on mana. So Evolving Wild is going to search his library for a basic land card, put in play tap, shuffle his library. Even if you have plenty of lands, that's a good play because if you're just getting swamped, you can shuffle your library and potentially reset it up and get the cards you need. He's going to attack. Okay. Okay. What are you going to do? Okay, I'll take the life link. Gains double strike until end of turn. Well, that double strike doesn't mean anything when you don't have an attack. Go ahead and cycle. I don't blame you. got plays, we just need the lands. Okay. You've got four cards in hand. You've got five available mana. What you gonna do? Plus two. Okay. Alright, so you destroyed my creatures. That's fine. We're probably going to lose this one simply because we are so landlocked. We're not getting any lands. We're not able to ramp. We're not doing, able to do anything. I mean, I don't even have a cycle. I, I can't even use cycle to get something going. All right, Hunt Master's Liger. He's mutating it, so it's now going to have XX until in the turn or number of times mutated. We're going to block the big guy. Now we have another land. Now we can start rolling. The problem is, is he's had so many turns where he's got land. But, he's only got one card in hand. I have four. So there's not a lot of trickery he's probably able to do. Okay. I'm I'm actually gonna take the three to the face. I'll let him draw a card. I'm hoping that he targets one of me my creatures with the spell, so I can play keep it safe, draw again. Prickly Marmor set's gonna have first strike. Mm-hmm. Get to draw a card, another island.
<laughs> I fucking love this guy so go. much. What's that? Um, hold on, let me see what it's called. It's X and three blue. But you steal. Well, buddy. I can't understand you. What? He's probably got something that's gonna buff the damage he does. In the trash? You pulled it out of the trash? Why would you pull that out of the trash? Yep. Lull Mage's Domination. It costs X, 3 blue. And it costs 3 less to cast. It, it targets a creature whose controller has 8 or more cards in the grave. Um, basically, you steal the card with CMC X. Spells you cost tar target it costs 2 more. We honestly need the mana ramp. Farfinder. Okay. He's going to Vigilance 1-1, one, one. he's going to go find a land, put it in his hand, and then probably put it into play. Okay. I've got the Mutate now. He's not gonna like this. He's gonna counter me. He's gonna counter me. Good game. Good game. Oh, we had just enough mana. I, we somehow, somehow pulled that out of our butt. Alright, so we've still got, we've got one loss, but we now have two wins. So we're guaranteed uh, 200 gems and a pack of, um, from Akora, which uh, of the... Of the boosters that are out right now, of course, my favorite. I, I really like the mutate mechanic because it can work in so many different ways. Um, for instance, you can use something uh, menace or death strike or, or gut touch or you know life touch. Um, okay, MTG Pro Padre. Okay, all right. We've got the mana. We've got some draw power. Yeah. Let's let's see what we can do. We have no creatures in hand. That's gonna be a little bit of an issue. So we're going to do a new sleeper dart, put it into play, draw a card. And for giggles, let's just go ahead and do that.
Ooh, I like that sleeve. Mothra's Great Cocoon. That's awesome. So, let's go ahead and anticipate. I, I need a play. I mean, I'm just being honest, I need something on the field. I'll take that one to the face. Yep, you attack, next nice Pokemon, now you're gonna have a little like, creature token to play as well. I'm gonna go and play this swamp. So attackers. Alright. He's got an answer for me. Got four cards in hand. He's playing black green. He's probably got something that's uh, gonna boost it per turn. That that's the unexpected fangs. So next turn, I can get the shark typhoon out. That's gonna be nice. No damage. Okay. Alright, so Skull Prophet's gonna add green or black to his hand for mana, or he can tap it to mill, uh, which means he's probably got something in his. Uh, ooh. Yep, okay. That's gonna be our saving grace. It's about the only thing we can do right now. Mutate, okay. Death touch. Four forward death touch. I'm taking it to the face. I've got to do something now. Like, right now. And I'd rather save it for an instant, but I need blockers. I need blockers. Skull Prophet, nice quick window. That insatiable hemophage is going to be nasty. Because if I kill this rated scorpion. He is going to deal two damage to me, and he's going to gain the two health plus the life link. I would rather him just do the two damage, gain the two health, and then not kill me and do more.
He's got an answer for me. Yep. And I've got no answer, so good game, man. Yeah, I definitely got no answer. You know, for giggles, I could do it, but I'm going to cycle. I could have used it to make a 2 2 flying shark, but it would have been pretty much over. But it was no point to do it. There's no way I could avoid it. Okay, so we now got two losses. And two wins. We can still pull this through. Uh, it's just like your life points. The game's not over until you're done. You could have one hit point left. Game's not over. Alright, so we got one more game, uh, at least. Let's see what kind of an opening hand we're going to have. Hopefully, we don't have to mulligan down too much and we have a nice. Um, a nice balance of cards we can play. I wish I could keep that hand. And I really don't want to mulligan down anymore. So even though... I'm gonna get rid of the balance. Alright, so find your battlefield. Alright, well, let's find ours. What you gonna do? What kind of deck you running? 33. I guess because you're 7. I'm, I'm a moron. Let's say, why well, has he only got a 33 card deck? Are we going to get a timeout win? Pretend? No, okay. I'm about to say. I mean, it has happened. People just don't like their hands and they time out or they concede. Okay, Glimmer Bell, okay. Got a 1-3 flyer already in play with the ability of a uh, one blue, one colorless untap. So it means he could fly and attack, untap it, fly, attack, untap it, fly, attack, untap it. So he's green blue, which is my normal colors. So he's probably going to be doing some sort of, um, yeah, blue trickery with uh, big beefy greens. So I'm going to take three to the face. Nothing I can do. Gets to draw a card from Thieving Otter. Uh, I've got my dream tell heroin. My plus two counters on it, draw a card. Now I've got a straight scorpion, so I have 
more I can play now. Thank goodness for that draw power. All right. Next turn, we have enough to play the Serrated Scorpion and the Crustacean. Uh, Depends on what he does here on on our play, what we're going to do here. Um, kind of think of it like chess, you know, try to think three or four or five um, turns ahead. You know, you do this, I do this, which means you can do, well, you'll do this, and then I'll do this, and then, you know, strategy. Gotta have strategy. Thinking that hard? Okay, now Farfinder, you're going to go find some land. Okay. I'll allow it. I'm going to take it to the face. I got no other choice. Draw a card. Okay. And then you got Facet Reader. Okay. Ah, see, now we have another mysterious egg that we can put into play. We're still going to go with the original plan. Gives us more on the ground. Whenever the creature mutates, the whole small gun on it. Okay. Alright. So, Serrated Scorpion, what, what can we do here? Serrated Scorpion, we can use block, potentially die, and then do damage, and then I get health. Crustacean is just a straight up blocker. Dreamtail Heron is going to block his Glimmer Bell. He's got two, three, six available mana, four cards in hand. He's a blue player, could have some sort of a counter. Um, an unsummon. Another Frost Links. Okay. He's going to tap my Dreamtail Heron. Probably going to use Facet Reader. Use Facet Reader to, Reader's ability to uh, draw a card, then discard a card. See if he's potentially looking for potentially looking for just one specific card. Timeout use. Okay, what are you what are you doing there, bud? I'm not going to be able to block the Glimmer Bell. I want to be able to destroy the Thieving Otter. That's what's able to get him more cards. Unfortunately, I can't do enough damage. mana I can't actually play Shark Typhoon. So I've got Hampering Snare which will basically when he's if he goes to swing out he's not going to do any damage. Uh, he's gonna mutate glowstone recluse with you guys it's gonna get two counters which means it's gonna be a five six with reach and flying okay Save 
he's gonna attack with it. Only took three, but that only saved me for one turn. I got mana screwed. Or else I could have done the, uh, that nasty little combo. Alright, so we're gonna cycle. I'm gonna select one blue, so we're gonna do three. reading it. Okay. So, don't really have an answer for his green tail heron. I think it's safe to say that uh, we have lost this one. The only way we're going to do any damage is if we got more mana. We kind of got mana screwed. Uh, block. Uh, it's, it's not going to do anything. Yep. Yep. Change. Yep. One mine is so good, man. You've only got the Ark of Leglore in your hand. I'm just, I'm holding back the inevitable. I don't foresee winning this. Yep. Yep, definitely. Good game. Alright, so even though we lost, we did get some uh, gems and boosters, so let's see what we get from them. Um, because even though we were not able to get all of the benefits, like we could have gotten 950 gems and two packs, uh, we're at least going to get 200 gems and a pack, and this will go towards um, building decks. Let's see what we got from it. Ooh, Porky Parrot. I like that one. Imposing Ventasaur. Death's Oasis. Whenever a non-token creature you control dies, mill two cards. Then return a creature with those converted by a creature that died 
from your graveyard to your hand. You gain life equal to the highest converted mana cost of among creatures you control. That's not bad. That's actually pretty nice. All right. No, I don't want to go back. To, I don't want to go for packs. All right. Let's say we play one more. Just to see what we get this time. Give it another go. Because, ooh, so we got a mythic. Reality Everwise. It gets plus one, plus zero for each instant and sorcery card in your graveyard. Whenever you discard one or more cards for the first turn, each turn, draw that many cards. Okay. So, we, uh, we look like we could be running a red-blue. If we simply just base it off of that. But let's go ahead and take it. One, because it's mythic. Two, because I don't know if I'm going to run it. Or three, I don't want anyone else to have it. Oh, we got a primal empathy. I might have to go uh, blue-green. I might just have to go blue-green. That is right up my alley right up my alley. Oh, and the trumpeting gnar. Oh my goodness. They are they are giving us this blue green. Exuberant Wolf Bear. That's a really good one, too. Fetch a little Greater Sandworm. If we can. Oh, the Thornwood Falls. I'm gonna, I've gotta take it. I don't think I'm gonna have any humans. Yes. Win costs two less. Cast if you control the creature flying. Return to an only permanent. You don't control just on his hand. Draw a card. It's gonna give us that draw power we need. But then we've got the Moscow twofold vigilance. Destroy target creature with flying. Unexpected fangs. We may end up going blue, green, black. Which is actually my stand, my deck I'm running right now is a blue, green, black. Fourth, the enemy is so good. So is Plummet, and fully grown. I think we are going, I think we're going to go blue green, we may end up going blue green black or blue green red. So if we go blue green red then we can use Riel. Vegas turtle, absolutely. I think we might be go blue, green, red. Vigilance companion. Each creature card in your starting deck is a cat, elemental, nightmare, dinosaur, or beast. Each other creature you control that is that is. A cat, elemental, nightmare, dinosaur, or beast gets plus one and has vigilance. 
I think we could do that. Cat, elemental, nightmare, dinosaur, beast. We'd have to get rid of Vegas Turtle, and we'd have to get rid of Polywog Symbiote and Rio. I've got to take it. Even if we don't use it, I don't want anyone else to have it. And we will get to keep the card at the end of this. Vigilance. We got the... Oh, the humble naturalist is so good. But if we go blue green red, then we could do flame spill, which is four damage to dark creature, excess damage to tilt to the creature's controller instead. And if we did go with Riel, that would give her. Hmm. So far, we've only got two, two red. Okay. So, oh, essence symbiot. I love that chord. Yeah. Barrier yeah. breach. Thieving otter, keep it safe. Adventure impulse. Bristle bore. Hmm. <laughs> we may end up going blue, green, black. Yeah, go for it. May end up going blue, green, black. You still playing Arcoria? Yeah, I'm playing the Arcoria draft. I just, I really like this set with its mutate. Yeah. Yeah, it's something else. It brings a lot of options to this. It really does. Trying to get some ramp going. I want, I like the evolving wilds, and I want the crystal. But we need some creatures. Actually, let's do that. Can't be blocked with more than one creature. Uh, I like that one. Complete the stampede, look at the top five cards. Your library, reveal any number of creature cards among them, put them as little cards in your hand, put the rest of the number. Hmm. Gotta put some blue trickery in there. Okay. Leaving Autumn Mysterious Egg.
with our bounce. Put that for the cycle. One coaster. Just add something else and another Aegis Turtle. Okay. Extinction event. That's a that's a really good one. Sanctuary Smasher. First strike cycle when cycle put a first strike counter target control. Critical bond. I think in this instance, we're either going to do this one for reach, or this one for life. Flyers are my bane lately, so let's go with the one that can turn into reach. Mutate. Whenever this creature mutates, other creatures you control get plus two, plus one until end of turn. That's pretty nice. Okay. So, we've got the Avian Oddity. We had the Wingfold Terron, Convolute, another escape protocol. If I cycle that, then it gives something for flying for free. Hmm. Essence symbiotes are so good. Don't have a lot of mutates. I need a couple higher costers. I could run that with flash because of the blue. So let's see what we got here. So we got three Aegis Turtles, Glitter Splint, Gremlin. We're probably not going to run the red. Oh, that's just different design. Okay. We are. don't have very many mutate actually. We've got two mutates, which I 
we've only got two mutate. If we've only got two mutate, then we should probably take out a mysterious egg. We'll probably take out Polywog symbiote. Essence symbiote. But they're so good. Alright, so, um, we're going to take out an Ace Turtle. I got a lot of instances and sorceries, actually. I know we're 15 cards high. Let's give this a try, though. I don't see this doing very well. I think we, I think I actually built a pretty janky, messed up deck here. I should have probably gone for. We did. We actually didn't get a lot of cards with mutate. I mean, there were some with white, but yeah, I should have gone white. You know. Probably would have been better at play. But let's see how we do. Alright, four. Stone of Falls. It gives us our blue that we can use for Polywog Symbiote. We could cycle. Let's win. Plummet. Hmm. Oh, I don't like that. Okay, so we got. I have a much better opening hand that time. Okay. It's actually, let's toss out the hampering snare. All right, so we got a, mm. Aegis Turtle. We got one cost, zero five. That's a great defender to start with. Forbidden Friendship, okay. We're not attacking with zero five. All right. So now that we've got humble naturalist out, that means we have an extra mana of any color that we can use on creature spells. So our play is we're probably going to put the Trumpeting Gnar onto the Glimmer Bell. Never mind. So we'll probably put it on the Essence Symbiote. We put it on the Essence Symbiote. It's going to create a 3-3 Beast token and it's going to get plus one counter and two life. Uh, I need five, and I can use tap that to use it.
Alright. Okay, that's his turn. Alright, so we still got a 3-3 blocker. We still got a 0-5 blocker. He took care of our flying early, which is predictable. Because flying is a major pain in the butt right now. Launcher steps going to cycle. Okay. Cycle for land. And we're starting to get flooded. This is not good. What you gonna do? Are you gonna take the seven? Are you gonna block? Okay, so you blocked and took three. Okay. Because you want to keep your blister split gremlin, you're probably gonna mutate it with uh, something. Okay, so we got migration pass. Two eggs card, put them in the battlefield tap, up your library. We're getting flooded. This is not good. We're at least keeping... Uh, okay, there we go. Sanctuary Smasher. The first strike counter on target creature you control. So... He put first strike on himself, which makes him a 6 4. 4 4 plus 5 is going to make it a 6, but then he's got a first strike. Now I have Menace. You can't block it with just one. Okay. Alright, so you got two Spell Eater Wolverines with double strike in their play. That is not bad. I actually don't need the mana. I'll take the Thieving Otter. Alright. He's ramping up. He's starting to become a big pain to deal with. And counter target spell must play for, okay. It could be blocked by okay. Let's go and counter that. Ramping. Little slowly but surely, I'm ramping. Exile up to three target enchantments. He doesn't have any enchantments to play, but I can use it for the cycle. And another Spell Eater Wolverine. 